beast, NPT's very own. Yeah, and we're gonna see we're gonna see plenty of NPT throughout the evening, but man, it's gonna be a tough one for sure to head into uh, to head into this matchup. And I like the fact that Beast, like sometimes, like Squirtle's obviously so um, so incredible in a lot of ways, but sometimes Squirtle's hyper offensive game plan isn't conducive to how you want to start a game. So yeah. beginning off with Ivysaur, you can really shut down and take control of game tempo right from the word go. Yeah, no. And I also believe Ivy does better at keeping out Luigi and what you want. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh, he got a wrong hit of Nair landing as we watch that yeah. full combo unfold with yeah, bated I, I, breath. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm like, is he dead? <laughs> <laughs> we had to watch for a moment. But with that, oh, oh, hello there. Great call out from Beast. It's not going to end up in the stock, and neither will that down air. But it's a great answer from you, uh, you were just at Death's door, and now you're threatening that against Scott right away. And this, of course, it's the Charizard. Yeah, and that's what they're known for. It's... I think the Twitter ad is Beastzard if you look down below. So, <laughs> ain't any of the other ones. It's not Beast PT. Nice. This is Charizard Valley Charizard. The Charizard extraordinaire, and that is exactly why he turned one. St he turned a late stock with Charizard, and then just kept riding it out. And is one of the few PT players to truly do that. Gets called out for the DI in on the down throw into the upbeat from Scott, but. As long as this Ivysaur is able to play in that same kind of tempo they were earlier, adding on Rage to Luigi can make their combos, uh, make the true, the normal zero to death that much harder yeah. to execute. And you see how they're playing around the platform right there? Unfortunately, B right there. But Beast did a great job. Scott missing the combo. But just playing with the platform, just doing up airs and just sharking with it is making Scott saying, you got to respect my platform pressure right here. Goes in there into dash attack, and the very least gives them stage. I wonder if that was meant to be a pivot grab. Either way, there's plenty of these grabs coming out from Scott. They really understand. I mean, it's Luigi. He's effectively the truest grappler in this game. He's live or die by this grab, and everybody in the venue seems to know it, including Beast, as that yeah. spot dodge down smash almost is able to result in an edge guard. Oh, man. Fireball. <laughs> Just it's over. <laughs> oh, great match. Oh, wow. Yeah, he got out of that in the nick of time as these fireballs confirming into the grab. I like that Scott was trying to take his time in the corner. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Flare Blitz is so funny, but yeah. it can be so bad sometimes. Flare Blitz just losing to like Luigi Fireball is so crazy. Okay, yeah, the pressure right there, but 119. You know what they say, all it takes is a grab. All it takes is one. Like this is the grab where Iota, like can they find the grab in neutral? Can they set it up while they're confirming off of it from a rising aerial? Doesn't seem like Scott has been willing to go for a lot of rising fares out of shield, instead using those as a means of challenging. But if you can get your combos oh. without grabbing, but the SDI is on point from Beast, able to get right underneath the rising uh, full hot, or double jump from Scott and punishing accordingly. Yeah. I think it might have been rising, but still, nonetheless, still got under. This got. Like, he gets the up tilt here. And yeah, look at and him. Hold SDI and forward. Down. Yeah. yeah, forward and down. And you saw the double jump come in as well from. That's a nice pop up. The double like, jump. Yeah, yeah, got him. It's almost like Scott tried to pull the trigger on their win condition a little bit too early. I don't think I don't Cyclone would have killed think, I don't there. even think it would have killed. I yeah. think it was just the damage. Oh, yeah. what a start with that pivot yeah. grab. That's quick 67. And again, a little bit of rage can throw off a lot of some of the traditional combo routes from Luigi. We'll have to see if Scott can adapt from a grab perspective, because they certainly have it from a non-grab perspective. Yeah. All right. Is that death? Yes, it is. Oh my god. The lingering of the Razor Leaf. That was super clean as a means of covering the platform. And Scott fell right into it with that air dodge. A yeah. solid bait, but no punish. And instead of getting double parry into the plat drop. Man, yeah. Beast is playing really well right now. In the way that I feel like is so important for his play style. Like, it's still offensive. It's still forward thinking. Yeah. But it's with a little bit more restraint and a little bit more refinedness. Yeah. Understanding that he can't hold forward into any but everybody because the Luigi will grab you and will kill you. Yeah, there's, there's more thought into like the flow chart, it seems. Like you've seen different aerials and different punishes in places. 
and you see how it has evolved. And the S-Match just knowing the neutral get up right there and just falling. It's all falling into place for these. Oh, and these up airs will certainly do it as they are up a game, up a stock, and trying to get up into the next round, into their top eight qualifiers. And this Ivysaur is not stopping. Oh, not going for the down air. Instead, just choosing to keep up this ledge trap that has been so good thus far. All right. Pressing out with the, some of these back airs, trying to keep out Scott. But Scott really doesn't seem uh, ready for when Beast is approaching with these back airs at such a safe range. It's, uh, oh, that, that, then that's it. Almost I lied. It. We're liars. Drop zone there. No, no. instead, just keeping up with this. Uh, why change a good thing? Just keeping things. Oh, you're alive. <laughs> oh, see how quick <laughs> our tune change? You see how quick our tune changes? Luigi's crazy. So Scott's crazy. So you got grabbed by Luigi. <laughs> 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 And here we are. We're platform camping. Beast yep. is not throwing away the win here. He is the Ivysaur is the key to victory. Switching to the Charizard unironically, unironically got them killed. But now they need to close out this stock, and the shield is getting rather low on the part of Scott. Okay, this yeah. is just a lot now, of switching. Are they out of percent for like a kill combo? Is the real question. Oh no, just ending up into percent and uh, so like. No is the answer, but also yes, because they wouldn't have been a traditional kill combo, yeah. but it was a kill combo, because as long as you have Luigi up B as an option, that super jump punch is going to result, is is going to find ways to combo into it. And look, look at here, this 27, you held forward once, oh, but. Yeah. What a great pivot into Nair there. Cause yeah, Mas masked up air. So try oh. to do what they did in game one and be really cheeky but and just got hit for it. Yeah, check the idea that came out from Scott, right? He realized that Beast, out of hitstun in some of these um, uh, non-grab combos, wants to throw out a, a move in hitstun to either get off or even potentially kill. That time Scott staying underneath and getting very, very rewarded for it as this game quickly turned into a game three and may quickly turn into Beast going down into loser's bracket yeah. if he has the combos like this to keep on going. That's 83%. Right, back air into the neutral air, but not able to get all of the hits together. Um, there was a reason CT GamerCon won Scott's tournament oh, before. Yeah. The, the power up is there from the home field player as Beast is still looking for a way to Close out this stock potentially. I love that challenge from Scott going down, uh, challenging Beast who is going for an edge guard. And instead, uh, instead Scott is able to make it back just fine. That up smash on the roll will certainly do the trick. But this is, percentage are getting rather even at 153 to 94. Given Charizard kill power, oh, it not, might as well be the same percents. It might as well be. But and uh, run up F tilt. That's a Beast classic actually. I've been waiting for it for like both sets. But that's a common thing they do like to do. All right, pressuring with this back on the platform, but this Charizard, sometimes Beast has to lean on it, and sometimes it really works out. The neutral is being played very, very well from Beast on a perspective of just keeping things non-committal, even without projectiles, dash dancing, and using that added speed that Razor Leaf usually would encompass, but not in this case. Oh, yeah. but that'll do it. Yeah, and you've seen a lot more desperation from Scott. You see the dash attack starting to come out now. Just waiting for a burst option, hoping for a drop of shield. And it didn't work out there. They were still able to close it out, but you got to be aware of it that the nerves can be hitting them. Peppering away with some of these back airs. Oh, reads the roll in with his own roll. Oh. I'm Ooh. liking this sequence. Yeah, up throw as an attempted mix-up, it felt like, or maybe just was a little bit too ahead in his sequence, but you have to be careful there. Yeah. And a proper punish from Scott reacting and and going with that super jump punch yet again, able to get into the lead leading position once more. God, Scott has just been really on point with these up airs, but the challenge with the back air, Beast not going to go down without a fight as this game three and this set which was looking so beast not 10 minutes ago, is now in its last stock, potentially final oh, final hit, if, depending on who lands this first. Yeah, and this is so scary. It's just one person, like one person could just take it all right here. Just their conversions have been so good. 
And if you're a beast, you're just trying to back he's, off and just play your game. Yeah, he is respecting so much of Scott's base, not wanting to fall victim to a grab at this percent. Could potentially lead to a down throw up beat, yeah. or at or the like, very least, a cyclone. Yeah, our hit is shield and just end up dying. Okay, this manages to dodge right there. Yeah, fireball after fireball. You're not feeling too bad about some of these fireballs, and the jab gets them by. Scott still looking for their win condition and is executing accordingly. All okay. oh, the flare blitz goes straight through. Are you going to go for the edge guard? No, instead, just trying to catch yeah, the, the two frame. Time. That's oh. it. Wow, late dash attack. Was that safe? And it killed? God damn. You got to watch your frame data and you got to watch your late hit of a lot of these yeah. moves. I thought we were going to see an upbeat on this dash attack, but no. Yeah, they were tunneled in on the on the back throw, tunneled in on grab. It's what you saw it from the, even the very opposite side of the stage. As it looks like Scott is a more than a little bit frustrated. But I think that's such an important uh, lesson in frame data, honestly. Yeah. The fact that, yes, when you look at Smash Ultimate frame data and you look at some of these other resources, mm -hmm. you're getting the frame advantage of the strong hit hitting your shield. And yes, then you can punish it with like an absolute grab. But late hit? You have to do a little bit of math. The website isn't going to tell you what yeah. it is, and you have to be prepared for your proper punish. Because that shield, uh, the shield grab penalty, still exists even with a late hit on shield like that. Yeah. So, oh man. Man. Sucks right there. Yeah. What a tight set. What a slow. Spot, do spot dodge down smash. That's the smash ultimate, baby. <laughs> oh yeah. That's <laughs> that one's a smash ultimate classic. <laughs> yeah. Spot dodge cancels down smash. Yeah. Who would have thought? That's how it closed.